shoes are all neck. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Isaiah the Player, and I'm back at it again with another video. Today is free for all Friday. So the goal of today is basically as long as I got a shoe in my hand, preferably a shoe in my hand, we just gonna talk about it. Uh, and I'm gonna just get my review and what my thoughts and opinions on the shoe. And so for today, did y'all like that double upload? Uh, y'all was supposed to get the double upload. It was supposed to be Wednesday. When, workout Wednesday was supposed to be uploaded on Wednesday. It's workout Wednesday. But it took forever to upload. Sorry about that. But we back at it again. Free for all Friday. And today we got the NBL one. Um, this is a basketball shoe. It was made by or well, it wasn't made by, but it's Lamelo Lamelo Ball. Uh, first. Uh, what, what's the signature shoe? Lamelo Ball's first signature shoe. Couldn't think of the words. Uh. I'm gonna try and make this video short, sweet. Been making long videos lately. And so first, I just wanna get into the box. Uh, start off at the top here, it says not from here. Then you can actually see, like there's actually a little see-through part in the, in the box. I thought that was pretty cool. Then it says, what does it say? Subject 01 Bello. And then they got the like galaxy theme box. I thought that was really cool. Uh, yeah, got his logo right there. The Puma logo right there. Also really cool. Uh, as far as like box presentations goes, this this has to be up there, you know? Uh, you can see through the box, you know, the box is all cool looking. And then the shoe is actually, you know, when you get the, when you first get it, I've worn mine already. I just kind of made it like this for the video. But when you get the shoe, they're actually divided. They, it comes like this. Come, they come in like this. So they got like a little divider and set up a wallpaper, which is different. It's cool. I like it. Uh, and this is the MBO one This colorway is the Queen City. It's a very beautiful shoe. Zoom in on that camera. A very beautiful shoe. And first, well, I already talked about the presentation and stuff like that. So let's just get into the look of the shoe. Uh, so my first opinion about the shoe, my thoughts and opinions, uh, it looks wise. It is, uh, it's pretty sexy if you ask me. Pretty sexy, you know, it's a purple with that light blue. It's supposed to, he plays for the Charlotte Hornets in the NBA, for those of you who don't know. Uh, this is, you know, supposed to represent the team. Well, I'm not sure if they got purple in the colorway, but anyway, it's still a sexy, beautiful looking shoe, whatever you want, however you want to describe it. Uh, on the court, these things pop, they're beautiful. Um, people will notice you while you're wearing them. Uh, as you can tell, it's just an all purple shoe. And, you know, if you don't think the shoe is beautiful, then I think you're just wrong. Cause I mean, look at it. Look at it. Look beautiful. Look beautiful, look beautiful, look beautiful. Uh, all right, all right. Now that we're done talking about how pretty it is, let's talk about uh, the pros and cons of the basketball stuff. Um, so let's start with the pros. Obviously, pro number one, it looks good. Uh, looks real good, looks sexy. Uh, so if you're looking for a good looking shoe, to hoop in if you like that then i don't see anything wrong with this and after that uh i want to say that another pro is the comfort of the shoe um is second to none 
Uh, there was no break in time. It's not like I had to play a couple times in them before they like got comfortable or whatever. Like the very first time I put them on, they were just comfortable. And uh, I mean, for like, it was like like really snug. It's almost like those slippers I was talking about the other day. Uh, it's like a hoodie on your foot, but I don't think that's really good for basketball. I, I, I don't know. It felt really comfortable. Uh, you know, for, you know, my very first time putting it on there. And yeah, so I would say the comfort, no breaking time and the cushioning. So like when you jump up and stuff, it's really good. Uh, well, I'm gonna come back to that cushion part. And then another pro for the shoe to me is uh, I, before I got that shoe, I was playing in low tops, these uh, J. Cole Dreamers. And this is a good shoe. There's nothing wrong with it, in my opinion, uh, except for the fact that it's a low top and I got really bad ankles. So I do like the fact that it's a mid top. The shoe is a mid top. Uh, Cause I tend to notice a lot of basketball shoes nowadays. They are a little, they're more low tops than high tops. And I have bad ankles, so I prefer I prefer, you know, shoes that go up a little higher to your ankle. But that's just me personally. If you like low tops, you like low tops. Me personally, I prefer shoes a little bit higher. I like high tops, mid tops. Um, and then the traction is good. Uh, real good traction. I haven't played them that much. I have played in them enough to know that the traction is actually pretty well. Uh, but we're also gonna come back to that and it's, you know, that's all I really have for the pros, the cons. So first thing is, I know I said they have good traction, but they also pick up dust really easily. So I'm not sure if y'all can see that at the bottom there, but I picked up a lot of dust on the shoe and you will be wiping a lot with the shoe. Uh, so if you, but I mean, I feel like if you play basketball, you're gonna be wiping one way or another way. So, you know, but I mean, you will be, I notice I, the more I wear them, the more I am wiping them. So uh, they do pick up dust pretty easily with that nice little pretty bottom, translucent bottom of theirs. No, let's see through. Um, so my second problem is, is maybe, just me nitpicking, but the lacing, uh, if you notice on this one, I got the shoe strings out. Uh, I don't have it laced all the way up because they tend to come untied while I'm playing in the games and stuff. And that gets really annoying having to like, you know, stop the game and, or stop, you know, whatever dribbling or whatever you're trying to do, uh, to just tie your shoe that does get a little annoying. Uh, and I do that very often with these. So again, that may just be me nick nitpicking, but still, that's the problem for me. Uh, so, and then the, and this is another nitpick of mine. Uh, because I'm used to playing in those low tops, uh, I got I kind of got used to wearing something lighter on my foot. These ten. I would say this shoe is a little bit on the heavier side, but like I said, they're low tops. These are mid tops. So I would expect for these to be heavier. So it was just a little adjustment I had to get used to. Uh, but I was, I do tend to like lighter, lighter things on my feet. So it was kind of like, for me personally, it was kind of like a pick your poison type of thing, like angle sport or heavy on the foot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then the last one, I'm gonna try and like show different views, uh, but let me get the shoe back up. I don't know why I keep on putting it down. Uh, I'm not sure, like when I first, I said the cushioning, right? So like when you jump up, but like right here, I haven't had this happen in a long time, but uh, it only happened like when I first put them on. But when I was jumping up and down, like I tend to notice like when I landed, like 
I felt this part hit my foot and it didn't feel comfortable at all. It actually hurt. Um, these little mountain tops right here. And yeah, I, I, I didn't like it, but I haven't had it happen since the very first time I put them on. So maybe it was just like, maybe that, maybe that is the break in. So, uh, yeah, but that was my last call. It was not too much. I really don't like about the shoe, like wiping. I feel like we all like basketball shoes, uh, just out of the principle. But sometimes, like, I don't even need to wipe my shoes. I just wipe them just because, just to wipe them. I don't even know why. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then, we'll go back to the looks. Um, I'm trying to show, like, some different viewpoints of the shoe. And kind of talk over that. So, yeah. Ugh. This is that rocky bottom I was telling y'all about. It looks really nice. They're like little mountain tops, little crystal mountain tops. I kind of like that about the shoe. But that's also the part that I was telling y'all about when I landed. I felt it hit my foot and it didn't feel too good. But that only happened on the first time. And then right there, you see the Puma logo. This next little cut, you see the like little wings. You see the little one of one on the tongue. If you can catch that little knot from here in the front. I'm going to put this back in the camera so y'all can see it again. But just a little different angle from the shoe. So y'all can kind of see it from different angles. All right, we're back. Uh, kind of wanted to show y'all just like like little scenes and stuff. So I, I did like a little voiceover. Hope y'all enjoyed that. But just in case y'all didn't see it all too well. But these wings right here, they're kind of designed from Melo's tattoo. Uh, on his chest and then on the back you got mellow right here kind of like a kind of like a um, like you know uh, a, what, a Jordan 11 like you know like I don't know uh, and then in front here you got the his little this is actually his tattoo right here if I'm not yeah it's on his chest and then got one of one right here. And it says, not from here at the bottom. And then you got the Puma logo. The Puma logo again, right there. These little rocky crystal metal bottoms. Uh, and at the bottom of the shoe, you got the rare. And then if I zoom in right here, it says golden child. I'm not sure if you guys can read that like in this little circle right here. Then in this other circle down here, you got another one of one. Uh, and then a nice little translucent bottom. I really like that. It adds like a, you know, if they would have made this like that little crystal blue, like, like, you know, when you get a brand new, like at the bottom of the Space Jam, oof. I think if they would have done that with it, oof, that might've been crazy. But then again, those yellow over time, this probably won't yellow because it's that purple. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Um, but, uh, yeah, oh, right here, got another, got another, uh, put my face. Got one on one right here again. But I'll try and put his tattoo right here so y'all can see. And so, like, y'all can kind of see the resemblance along, like, with the wings. At least these are, I believe these are his wings, or if they're supposed to be. Um, from this tattoo i don't know where they got this little this little part from but i do like it. it's like a little little mountain top like a little crystal mountain top and add like a nice little aesthetic um but yeah all in all i really think it's a dope shoe uh am i missing anything oh the inside and this tongue is really really nice and plush. Let me see if I can take it out. The inside. It's kind of like, the inside is kind of like the box. Well, I don't want to take it out. I heard it sound like there's glue at the bottom, but see that? The inside is also nice. The sole. Uh, I have worn mine a little bit, so you see a lot of dirt spots in it. So that's why. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Really dope shoe, really good basketball shoe in my opinion. It does have its flaws just like anything, but uh, and they are dropping a lot of colorways for these as well. So if this pair in particular is going for like, I wanna say 300 on GOAT and StockX and stuff like that, it may be a little bit higher. So if you don't wanna spend that much money on this shoe, I got mine for like 250 y'all, don't. Uh, <laughs> FYI, uh, I got them while they were still at a decent price. Um, but if you still want, if you still want to get the MBO one, they're still dropping tons of colorways. They're dropping, um, you know, a black colorway. They have low tops out. I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible. Um, you know, they got the Rick and Morty colorway. That's expensive though. But they still have tons of colorways that plan to drop and are still dropping. So I think they got an all white pair. Um, they're supposed to have like a reverse pair of these where it's gonna be like the blue and then the purple on the inside. Uh, I saw pictures of those. But if you still want the shoe, you're not out of luck. You, you still get it for like a retail price. Uh, I see, I've seen some of them sending champs. So the low tops, mid tops um, for retail price. But if you want this specific colorway, you know, you're gonna have to go online and might have to spend a couple. Might have to spend quite a few dollars. Um, so, but yeah, I'm gonna show y'all some little clips and some little bloopers. Hope y'all enjoy, man. And I'll be back after the bloopers. I just wanted to show y'all me fooling around in the shoe for a little bit. I just got down working out. You know what I'm saying? Arms are a little heavy, but look at me. Tween, tween. Oh, lost the ball. I'm garbage. It's okay, though. I picked the ball back up. Uh, 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 tween, tween. Uh, just dribbling the ball right here, having a little bit of fun. You know what I'm saying? Can't dribble. Tween, behind the back. Uh, flow the gang. We're playing basket. Okay, let me stop. Uh, break. 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 And break again. Okay, y'all. So I just got back from trying to get context and whatever. whatever. Um, y'all are probably watching the video right now. Um, but I haven't bought a new shoe, and I don't know how long. And I couldn't wait till I made the video to do this, cause the video gonna come later. But I wanted y'all to see me uh be like a sneakerhead. I don't know. I'm just. It's been like a year since I bought a new shoe, so I gotta do this. <sighs> that new shoe smell. <sighs> Y'all are gonna say that I'm weird, but that's okay, cause I am. Okay, okay. Back to the video. <laughs> all right, y'all. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed all them little, them little bloopers and whatnot. Uh, I need help. <laughs> the way I sniffed the shoe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me stop. But uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Uh, it was a little rust, but because I'm on my way to work. But... I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all have a good Friday. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the channel with your mom, dad, uncle, auntie, cousin, nephew, niece, dog, cat, lizard, fish. I don't care. Uh, we just try to have fun with the channel. I hope it grows. 
We have a goal of reaching 250 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's see if we can make that happen. Uh, I do want to apologize. I was going back watching the video and whatnot, and uh, Hoodie yeah, Isaiah forgot to get activated today, but uh, he's here to, you know, say goodbye at the end of the video. But again, I hope y'all have a blessed Friday. Enjoy it. It looks beautiful outside today, and y'all be safe. And I'm out of here. Player Nation. Players? Play, player Nation? Is that maybe a thing? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Peace. <laughs>